well? Oh yeah, you got to be cautious. You know, you know, uh, everybody loves the winner, so you have to make sure you win. And he's doing, the, he's going about it the right way. Thank you very much, Lennox. And I think good for Audley to have the wise words of Lennox Lewis in the build-up to this. He's an advisor there who's been there and done well, it. Well, you know, you can't get better than that. Former heavyweight champion of the world, looking good, I might add. You know, giving giving um, Audley Harrison Second all dance. the confidence that he Round needs. Three. Well, I don't think there's uh, any question at all who's winning this fight thus far. It's Audley Harrison, the cornerman of Hassissia, very slow to get out, and Ian John Lewis, the referee, saying, come on, boys, let's get on with it. And now we're underway, third of the 12 rounds. I just wonder if, if Audley's actually said to himself, you know, this fight potentially could go the distance. He's got an unbeaten man in front of him. You know, I'm just going to box myself nice and sensible into a nice points victory, if, if possible, and see where it takes me. Pasissia trying to get inside, and I think there's a little bit of a smear of blood around that right eye. Now, what's caused that? Was it the flurry of punches, or was there a clash of heads in there? But I think that Hassissia might be cut. Well, that's good news for, for Audrey Harrison, because that will spur him on to try and open that cut even more. I think we can look for some more combinations from Audrey Harrison to see what sort of more damage he can do. Hard to see quite where that bleeding is coming from, but there's a definite smear of blood around the around the bridge of the nose of Richelle Hassissia, and Harrison is growing in confidence there, and Hassissia will know he's bleeding, and he will perhaps become a little bit disheartened, trying to throw a real power right-hand shot, but Harrison now is looking to measure him. It's just staying nice and cool, is Harrison. Although he's seen the blood, he hasn't actually gone after it just yet. He's still just flicking out the jab and occasional straight lefts come over the top. It's good boxing so far. Audley Harrison said, these guys fight with brawn over brain. I fight with brain over brawn. And so far, a measured performance. But again, Assisia trying to go for that payoff punch, and he does get through with another right hand, but the bleeding around that right eye clearly is worsening. Well, Harrison, as you can see, he can be hit, but he's, he's doing really well at the moment. You know, he's, he's got the guy in front of him who is the champion, he's come to fight, but he's not getting riled or shaken by these punches. He's just taking it all in his stride. Harrison's critics have said that they want to see him in against a man who actually lands a few shots, who keeps fighting back. Well, this fella has landed some power shots, and Harrison has taken them well. And, I have to say, returned them with interest. OK, well, I mean, we know this guy's not a Mike Tyson or an Evander Holyfield, but he does hold a version of the championship. OK, it might not be worth that much, but it's, it means a lot on the, world, on the world stage. This guy is an unbeaten heavyweight. And he's ranked number 12 in Europe currently, and this could be the key to the door for Harrison for bigger fights on the European stage if he can get through, but he can't afford to get careless. He does still have danger, Hesitia. He's got 16 stoppage victories. Good accuracy, though, from Harrison as he picks him off from range. Good accuracy, nice lateral movement from Harrison. Just stepping around the ring, not bouncing around, not jumping around, not expending un unnecessary energy, just walking around the ring and pot shotting. Well, he's bound to take a few shots in a fight, and again, the exchange of glances, a little bit more meaningful than loving, and there was a, a big right hand from Audley right on the bell. Well, he needed that, and, you know, I've got him winning ev everything so far. It's just a nice, well-educated, well-timed punches that are going in. He's not, there's no real urgency, he's just going through the motions. He's content just to box with a CCA, and then hopefully he will start to open up and pick this guy apart as the rounds go on. They're going to work in that corner, of course, to try and uh, staunch the bleeding, smearing the grease across the damage. It looks as though it's just around about, around about that right eye. You can't see too clearly. Look at the mob of corner men. But it, I, I think it was a punch which opened it up, Duke. Well, all this just taking his time. He's he's not rushing, and I haven't seen any infringements with the head or, or with the elbows. It's just been all quick, clean cut punches from both parties. Well, Harrison's clearly winning this fight at this Seven stage jumps. and looks Round very relaxed four. and composed. Fourth round underway. Referee having a look at the state of the injury to Hassissia. Satisfied that everything's OK. And Hassissia now... Well, he's surely going to be thinking that he's got to gamble a bit, that he's got to try and get in there and really try and impose himself on this fight and maybe turn it round. 
Well, therein lies the danger for him, because if, if he opens up too much and leaves himself open, then he's going to leave himself wide open to the uppercuts that Harrison likes to throw. Assisio caught him with a right hook to the head, and a nice shot to the body as well, and Harrison just covering up and allowing his man to come, and Hasisia having his best little spell of the fight. Good right hand. Harrison again, though, takes it well. Can't afford to get careless. Good right hand. Great hook from Harrison. And the uppercut in there. Oh, terrific shot. Really terrific right uppercut from Harrison. And this is quality, accuracy, and he's gone down. Richelle Hasisia was on the receiving end of an absolutely terrific high-class barrage of punches. There, it's all over. The referee has said he's had enough, and Audley Harrison has produced the performance he wanted. The fans are delighted, and the winning run goes on. 15 fights undefeated, and whatever you say about the quality of the opposition, there is absolutely no doubting the quality of the finish. That was world-class. That was world-class. That was quite a, lovely, quite a lovely combination of punches. Harrison went about his work there in a real purposeful manner. Once he unloaded with the salvo, the dance was done. He went head and body, threw a couple of jabs, uh, right uppercut, come to the head, come to the body, followed that with a straight left, then the right hook, just dropped everything when he had his sissy head backed up in the corner, and he just crumbled. Well, the crowd loved it, and they are standing to acclaim Audley Harrison, and rightly so because that was impressive and always nice to see a fighter go round and just check that he's beaten opponents okay but let's look again at this finishing burst duke it's, it was terrific it's quality stuff from harrison there's the straight left there's the uppercut that i was telling you about and the hook the other left that these, uppercut goodness me these are all well timed well calculated punches that have gone in and he's not wasting nothing look he's looking for the opening now he's gone to the body again made the kid miss and then come back with the counter punch it's a good finish. You don't often see heavyweights, with the exception of somebody like and Evander Holyfield, work the body of another heavyweight. But this is good stuff from Harrison. He's a man of six foot five, and there's speed and accuracy there. Look at that. Some of those punches, they go in with such intent. It almost looks as though the action's been speeded up. Well, but it certainly isn't. That's the way it was. Obviously, and they were just terrific. Obviously, the, the, the American input that, that Harrison has had. Uh, in his career, it's really starting to show now, it's really starting to come out in his performance. Well, Thel Torrance, vastly experienced trainer, is going to be very satisfied indeed with the performance of Audley Harrison tonight. And you can see from the smile on Audley's face that he also is delighted at what he's achieved in there. Victory run goes on, an impressive knockout victory. And we can now get confirmation of the result from Ladies our MC. Ladies and gentlemen, a referee in John Lewis stops this bout, reaches the count of 10 at two minutes of the fourth round. The winner by knockout victory and new WBF heavyweight champion of the world, Audley A. Force Harrison. Harrison's celebrations continue. He has the belt, and he is improving. Let's hear from the new champion. Audley, many congratulations. Uh, that was a good performance. Thank you, yeah, I felt, uh, you know, once again, I, I st tried to start too early, getting inside. I was trying to look for it too early. You know, I felt that, uh, you know, stick, stick with the jab, and, and it will come. You know, so the first two rounds, I was trying to find it a bit too early, because as you know, you know, when I go inside, I'm quite clinical on the inside. Um, so early on, I, I tried to, you know, I tried to find myself, but you know, he was definitely throwing some good shots. He caught me some good shots early on. Yeah, you needed but, to be cautious, didn't you? Yeah, definitely. Um, you know, I needed to have a look because he was, you know, undefeated fighter with undefeated record. They got a lot of pride. They don't want to lose that. So, uh, you know, he came to fight, and uh, you know, but I was just trying to stay with the jab. I felt good in there. I felt confident, and I knew it was just a matter of time before I was going to go close. When I go close with people, because of that, the stuff that I'm learning how to fight on the inside and the combination punching. It's going to be hard for a lot of heavyweights to take that kind of punch on the inside. You will know that as soon as you hit him, that was probably going to be good night. Let's just show you how it ended, Audley. Yeah, I mean, um, he went close with me first, and that gave me the opening. So I was like, OK. And, uh, you know, I could see the openings, but it was just him, you know, looking for the openings. I'm always looking for the openings. And once I tag you, as you know, you know, great fighters have got great finishes. And, uh, you know, I think I'm on the road. Um, I'm a good finisher already, got lots to learn, but... Uh, 
you know, I'm happy that I had a great turnout, happy that I had a great camp. You know, so I want to say a big thank you to my team, headed up by Phil Torrance. Sure. And when you the will have camp, trained... Let me, just say, let me just finish the thank you. Very please. quickly. So I had a great training camp and, you know, I have to give respect to Phil Torrance and the rest of the team. My brothers, everyone's been with Kenny and, and Kelvin have been great in camp. And Hazel on the promotional side, it's been a great promotion. And obviously a big respect to Lennox Lewis who's turned up yeah. here. The heavyweight champion, the former champion is with us. What did you make of that? I thought it was great. Uh, you know, he did what he had to do. As soon as he figured him out, then he got rid of him. That's what he's supposed to do. Uh, go in there, cautious up for us. Don't take any extra chances that you don't need to take. And then take him out. What do you, uh, do you like about Audley Harrison? What do you think he's good at? Well, he's definitely got the pedigree and he's a southpaw. And he can definitely box better on the inside than I can. Really? Yeah, I don't like to mix it up on the inside too much, but I see he's doing it and he does it well. Yeah. What would your advice be to him um, during the course of the next six months? What would you like to see him doing? Just keep on, he's keep on the same road he's on, uh, try and get as much experience as possible, uh, bring in some great sparring partners and, you know, he's at that level right now where he, he has to soak up all the, all, all the information he can get and learn. It's all about getting the right experience at this stage, isn't it? Very much. and. Uh, by watching his performance today, you know, he knows when to turn it on, he knows when to be cautious, and he didn't take a lot, a lot of time doing that either. Sure. I'm just going to get a, a final comment from Audley on what he wants to do, but I've just got to ask you, that's probably the first time you've been back in a boxing ring since you uh, announced your retirement. Uh, when you were up there, did you probably think to yourself, yeah, I'm glad I got out of this tough old game? Yeah, I'm leaving it, I'm leaving it to the, the rest of the people, you know. I, 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 <laughs> there you are, yeah, 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 you, really, you enjoyed really that, didn't happy. you? Yeah, I could see it coming. Yeah. All right. Um, enjoy retirement. And let's get a, a word for Audley, from Audley. Yeah, what are your immediate thoughts about what you're going to do during the course well, of the next few months? It's my first belt. And as I've said to people, no, this does not mean I'm, I'm the legitimate number one. But what this does mean is I'm now moving into the Premier League. I'm, I've won Divisional One promotion and I'm now moving into the Premier League. And, and, you know, the other heavyweights, you know, I'm coming for you. And it's not the British heavyweights. I'm talking about the world heavyweights because that's where Audley Harrison belongs. Lennox Lewis was there. And Britain needs another heavyweight who, who's not afraid to go on the world scene and battle for Britain. And, and your man is right here, Audley Harrison. So I just want to say a big respect to the fans yeah. turning up. Yeah, yeah. You know, I appreciate you're it. The fans who are turning up. And I'm looking to clean up, and I'm going to stay busy. So you're going to see me back in the ring again. Uh, what about? What about? Let me just get, uh, ask you one thought on on Europe. Um, yeah. You were ranked 16 in Europe before tonight. Yeah. I guess you would go to possibly eight, which is where he was. Yeah, that's right. So obviously I'm in the top 10 now. So you know I'm in the mix. I'm in the mix on Europe. I'm in the mix on the on the world scene as well with this performance. So uh, there's a lot of opportunities for me. And uh, you know I just want to say, Audley Harrison, the A4. So I'm serious about where I'm going, and I'm going to get there. So. Uh, I just want to say a big shout out to 